Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel 100% Pure Alvis. So the next upload that I want to share with you all today is another book from my Alvis Presley collection. It is titled Alvis at 21 New York to Memphis by Alfred Wertheimer. This is the 2006 first edition release. It's like a coffee table sized book. It's got a number of pages inside and I just wanted to share it with you because for me it is an outstanding book to have. So on the front cover here we have Alvis. Looks, I think he's on the train there or on the coach but I think it's the train. Classic image of Alvis there. So of course all these images are from the year 1956 which is when Alvis would have been 21. And again as you can see got a number of pages inside and you will all love this book. Now, this book is quite rare. This is the original 2006 edition and you are looking at over 80 to 100 pounds, but it has been re-released. So if you're looking at purchasing, purchasing this book as a re-release, you can get it for around 40 pounds. But again, this is the original first edition. So let's look through this book together. So as you can see, again, it has its own dust jacket there. And then, obviously, some young fans there are waiting to see their idol, Alvis. And then we're now going into the classic images of Alvis from the year 1956. So again, for me, great book to have in any Alvis Presley fans collection or even any rock and roll fans collection. It's where it all started. I just love these images of Alvis throughout this book when he was just starting out and what I will do I will go when I see when I come to some of my favorites I will zoom in more I hope the light is okay for you all I do get asked a lot of questions about why do I post more on the 1970s I don't do it on purpose but um I like all of Alvis eras, 50s, 60s and 70s. As I've said before, I do play more of Alvis in the 70s because I was brought up on Alvis's music in the 70s from my mum. But I love the 50s as well. I want to get to it in this book. There's also one with Buddy Holly in the crowd and what as I'm going through this book have you seen these images before are some of them new to you I'm going to slightly take my time on this book because again I just think some of the images are outstanding And also this page, which I will show you in a moment. So I think there's a, is that a hotel. I'm not too sure. And let me flip that out. So it goes out like that. So it's such a well put together book by Alfred Wertheimer. So 
And again, thank you all so much for all of your support of my recent uploads of my other books in my collection. I've been asked to do more of my books in my collection, which that is why at this moment in time I'm focusing on mostly the books in my collection because people want me to do the flip throughs, which I'm more than happy to do. So please go and check out my recent ones. I've done the the Alvis Files books recently. I've done the Keith Alverson Strictly Alvis book. I've done Eloa from Hawaii book. So please go and check them upload. It would be appreciated. There are all these images of Alvis at the age of 21. And if, I suppose if you could compare it to artists of today. So Alvis really started to become quite big in around 1955-56. So he only had 21 years of being a successful recording artist, actor, while he was still alive. And then, unfortunately, we lost him. But his... Popularity has never waned since. I don't know, that is the front cover shot on the book Last Train to Memphis. Great read that book is. If you haven't already read it, go out and read it. Great book. Here you go, with there's Colonel Tom. He loved being at the piano, didn't he? Alvis did. I think these are some rare ones. I'm sorry about that light that's coming through. I hope it's not affecting this upload too much and the quality of the f images in the book. So this is the Mosque Theatre in Richmond, Virginia. Some famous images there. And again, I've not had the opportunity to read through all of this book. But I do hope you're enjoying this along with me. Again, that's another famous image there. I love this image. Absolutely love that image. Again, this is another flip out page. You have him as meal there. So again, it looks like is it bacon and eggs, maybe. Looking at a magazine. No, is it a cafe or American diner? Yeah, it's an American diner there. This is used on one of his gospel releases. Another great image. And for, I'm really sorry, I don't know this lady's name. If anyone does know, please leave in the comments below. That's another, that's another great image there.
Mr. Binney's then girlfriend. Oh, that's a famous image there, isn't it? And I also wanted to give a big shout out to another YouTuber, Patrick Hatt's Place, Gina. Thank you for mentioning me on your recent upload. She was showing her recent purchases that come through and a great upload there. She got some magazines, some books, so and a tin with some Alvis images inside, which I'm looking at getting myself. So thank you for sharing that. This is at the Hudson Theatre in New York City. Oh, that's, that's lovely. That's a great image there. <laughs> you know, quite uncomfortable there I think but now oh, we all know what that was about hound dog is singing there this is the recording session, Studio One. I love that image. give you more of an opportunity to see I mean, most of the photos in the book as best I can. That's a well used photo. Now in the United Kingdom this was used as the Heartbreak Hotel was re-released in the 1990s as a CD single and that is the image they used for the single. Great image there. So stylish. Exuded style, I've listed. Uh, again, I think that picture says a thousand words. <laughs> a totally shattered. But gave his all. Oh, looking too great. I'm going to stay on that page a while because they're two of my favourite images there from 1956. And again, he was such a handsome man. And um, again, never tire looking at Elvis. So obviously that's the image which is on the front cover of this book. This is from New York to Memphis, which is what the book is called. I hope I'm not going through this too fast. Again, looks like he's in a diner there.
I love that image, but he just looks so deep in thought and so alone. Giant panda there, <laughs> pulling a face. Buying some food there, looks like at a train station. Pure style. Look at that smile and laughter. You can just hear the laugh. Get a closer image look in there for you. This is another fold out one, which I will show you next. I just, I would love to have them like as a print bigger and framed. So just turn into that one. That folds out like that. And this one folds out like that. So again, page after page of great images of Alvis. So what's he reading there? I don't know. I can't um, seem to see the title, but listen. Like, um, so this section is home sweet home. Ah, that's a famous shot of Alvis, as we all know. Mini May there, you've got Gladys, Vernon, and some cars there. I don't know what that's about. That's where they lived. Oh, his adorable mum, Gladys. No one could replace Gladys. Again, fans gathering outside where we lived. Tinkering with his motorbike there. <laughs> in the pool there. Again, this is another flip out page, so.
give you the opportunity to enjoy these images. Yes, having fun. Going back to the music in the 1950s when Elvis started, I suppose if I had to choose a favourite song from the 50s, my mum's favourite is I Need Your Love Tonight, so that is a favourite of mine. But uh, I also love Crawfish and um, Harbour Lights. Mystery Train, I forgot to remember to forget, but there is so many from the 50s. But uh, there are a few off the top of my head that I can think of, which I absolutely love. Again, another fold out page. Minnie May there, or Dodger, as she was called by the family. So this is R Russ Wood Park in Memphis. Family watching on there. And there we have the final page. No, no, sorry, it's not. I thought it was the final page. So there we there we have it. So as you can see, a two thousand and six release, and on the back, again that is in Memphis. So again, a great addition to any Alvis fans collection. Alvis at twenty one, New York to Memphis by. Alfred Wertheimer. For me, it is a must-have for all Alvis fans. As I was saying, this book has been re-released recently. So please go out, go out, have a look, try and order it. You will not be disappointed. But again, this one here is the first edition. So if you are after the first edition, you are looking at paying slightly more money. But again, I hope you enjoyed that upload. I hope you enjoyed looking at them photos with me. And uh, again, thank you for taking the time out to return to my channel to watch this upload. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. It will help make my channel grow. And once you subscribe, welcome to the family, to everyone else who has supported me along the way. Thank you all for your continued support. And keep an eye out for more uploads coming real soon. As I always say, please keep Alvis close to your hearts. Please keep on playing his music and love to you all. Speak soon, everyone. Bye-bye.